Hi everybody! I'm Chris and this is Go For English. Today I'm gonna teach you how to use Gedwin print screen to take pictures from the internet, to use pictures from your own book or to send activities by WhatsApp. Let's take a look at it together. Okay, so you go to www.gedwin.com and then you go to downloads and in downloads you go down a little bit to Gedwin print screen. Then you choose 64 or 32 bit according to your computer. Mine is 64. You download it, you install it. Let's suppose I want to take a snapshot from my book. So this is my own book, Team Up from Stanford. I just press Control print screen and I select the part. I right click to apply, then I check to confirm. That picture is saved. Then let's suppose I want to send this picture to a student on WhatsApp. Then all I have to do is Ctrl V and I copy the picture and then I can send it to somebody. Or let's say I want to apply it to a Word file. I can also add it to a Word file. So then I open Word, I copy the picture, I make it smaller or whichever size I want. If I right click, then I can make it float on the text or then I can decide how I want to align. So I like to put it in front of text, so I can put it wherever I want. And then I say, look at the picture, answer the questions. So I can write questions using a picture from my textbook. That is, if I have a PDF from my textbook. Now, suppose I don't have the PDF from my textbook. I can also do this using a picture from the internet. So let's say I will do family tree. Go to images, then control print screen. And then right click, apply, check. Then I can come to my Word file, copy, right click. Students sometimes don't have access to some extra activities. So I want students to do something and they don't have access to the internet, but they do have access to WhatsApp. So this is a teacher's book, so I already have the answers. But I could send them just an activity like this. Oh, okay, so I would like you to do activity 9. You copy the activity and you send them the activity on WhatsApp. So just that exercise, they can copy or they can just write the answers in their notebooks or they can text you the answers back. So just one, brothers, two, children, three, teachers for you to check. So this can be a very useful and fast tool for you to share materials with your students. So I hope you have learned to use Gedwin print screen to capture pictures for your online activities. Please remember to always give credit for the pictures. So don't break any laws. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And if you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have any suggestions for other videos, also leave a comment below. And follow me on my social media. Go for English on Instagram. Bye!